It's not the saws or the hammers that make Jeff Craddock's job dangerous. We have either the sawdust or we have drywall dust or we have the insulation back here. He feared he'd have to sell his business to save his life. I would use a rescue inhaler at a minimum between four and five times a day. When medication failed, he tried a new approach, bronchial thermoplasty. People with severe asthma have more muscle surrounding their airways. This excess muscle combined with inflammation makes the walls even thicker. During bronchial thermoplasty, a small tube is inserted through the nose or mouth into the lungs. This is a, a flexible little catheter. The catheter delivers radio frequency energy to the muscles around the windpipe. This brings the wires in contact with the lining of the breathing tube. The heat prevents the muscles from contracting and narrowing during an attack. It's about the temperature of a warm cup of coffee. It's not burning, it's not sparking, it's not uh, ablating anything. A new study shows a 32% reduction in asthma attacks, 84% drop in ER visits, 73% reduction in hospital stays, and a 66% drop in lost time from work or school. The new therapy allowed Jeff to do chores that used to take his breath away. <gasps> this, this, never, this doesn't even affect me anymore. I'm not at home uh, trying to just exist, you know, I'm actually working. Working hard and breathing easier for the first time in a long time. I'm Melissa Medley reporting.